Welcome back to Dreamin' Does Gaming. Dreamin' here playing more Baldur's Gate 3 as we're getting back into it. Alright, let's go get the loading going and here we are. Yeah, so we just finished off the dank crypt. Everybody's rested. We did our first full long rest talk to everyone. So we are going to be leaving camp. And, yeah, all right, now we got to figure out what to do next. Um, so there's several different ways we can go here. There's a couple of different paths and stuff. Looks like we've explored everywhere else that we can on the map. Doesn't look like we can do anything else over there. Um, that rock... Uh, does Gale have Mage Hand? Did we give him Mage Hand? We did. Okay. So we might be able to go do that with... With, uh, Gale. Oh, well, we can't just, like, set them to go that way, eh? Um, so that means... Was it down that way still? Yeah, okay. We want them to come this way. And then... Oh yeah. Just to here. Oh hey, we found the boar. Actually. Um... Do I have... On my way. Seems like Let's go talk to the boar. Away. Away. Calm down, I won't hurt you. You're all the same. Too many of my kind died because of your spears. But not me. Oh. And there he goes. All right. Get everyone over here because I do want to see if we can use Mage Hand. And then. Oh. People, you're in the way. Not enough strength, eh? Too heavy to throw. Punch it. All right. Okay. Well, we tried. So we're not strong enough to lift that up yet. That's okay. I'm really not that surprised. So there was this up here. I think we'll head up there first. I know there's a little bit more... I guess there's a little bit more up here of the Nautilus that we can go check out. Just see if there's anything else. Okay, this just brings us in here, which we've been in. Alright. Could have waypointed, I guess. Now, is there two paths here or only the one? Well, it looks like we could jump up here from there, but it also looks like it just goes around. So, not too worried about either way. There's a smash cage here. Must have been here a while. Hmm, good observations. Um, hi, Lizelle. 
all up. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you? Oh, a guess. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Mm. Get rid of them. Rather demanding for a woman in your position? Why should I? Don't you worry, I'll get them out of here one way or another. This creature is dangerous. Get out of here now. Leave it to me. Bart. Oh, gods, you've caught a scout. I get the invasion forces right behind me. Save yourselves. I do like that. That is quite funny. And we crit on it, too. That's fantastic. Oh. Now that they're out of earshot, sure. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Take a couple shots here, sorry. We have freed Lysel. Alright. What exactly is a crash? A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gaith tadpole, we must report to Augusto for purification. Alright. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. She's so rude. All right, we'll journey together. Let's find this crash. You'll need to make room. Um, to be perfectly honest, Very you can meet me at camp. But heed my words. The horned ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zorin, has seen the Yankee. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. Okay. That's fine. Honestly, I don't think we need her at this exact moment in time. Hey, there's a short bow. Dragon egg mushroom. Nice. I know she ran off that way, but let's just... Oh yeah. So this is just the uh, top part of this. Got it. We checked all this stuff. Oh, I missed this crate while we were here. Okay. Perfect. Well then, let's make our way over yonder. Damage snare trap. Interesting. I'm always up for exploring and making sure that we check out all the nooks and crannies and things. Crushed spike trap, great. And yet another. The warmest of welcomes. Yes, I agree. Dirt mound and a shovel. Ah, so this is like the tutorial must-have. All this stuff. Must have shovel in order to get a dirt mound. Nice. Okay, shouting up ahead. Um, that usually means... 
Oh, yeah, yeah, up here. Let's go check this out. Oh, auto save. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! Great. By the nine hells! Open the gate! <coughs> Bugbear, goblins, wargs. Interesting. Woo! I'm glad he missed. Because we were right there. <laughs> that could have been bad. Okay. Alright. We'll see if we can keep as many of these guys alive as we can. 65% chance, eh? Okay. Can you hide? 60% darn. Hmm. Well. I think we still want to try to take that and help out down there. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? We'll take the crit. Because that means he's almost dead. Thank you, Gale. Um, kind of want to have you hop back here now. Oh, you're the guy that's sick. Oh, okay, nice. Using potions. That's actually pretty cool. So yeah, that's one thing that they, uh, they're throwing potions at each other to heal. That's fantastic. Um. 60% chance to hit this guy. Or. Can we, can't reach him. Oh! That was not what I wanted to do! <laughs> Alright, we'll flourish this guy. He's off balance. I wanted to walk over there, not shoot that. Oh no. You know what? I remember doing that quite a bit in like Divinity and stuff. Not expecting to actually do that and like shoot something. And instead, um, you know, spending my action to do that. Oh man, that sucks. Okay. One. Two. You know what? Let's double up on this. There. Those two are dead, which is actually quite nice. Because that was like their big guy down there, their leader. And then if we can come over here with Shadowheart. Yeah, these guys seem like they're fine. A Goblin Booyog. Um, oh yeah, that's right. That's the other thing we can do. We can look at them and see what they have. Oh, this guy has Opportunity Attack. Got it. Um... 
7 hell, 13, doesn't look like he's too anything. Goblin Booyog. Yeah. Okay, so let's just get up on this guy's face. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's go, Shadowheart. Critical. That's the best way to do that. Ooh. Um, do we want to use your portent dice to make it a two? Probably. You're welcome. <laughs> We've already used those two portent dice that we get, so fantastic. Great use of them for the day, I think. Let's get as far up as we can. 94... 70% outside of our normal range. Yeah, let's just go for the kill on this guy. I said let's go for the kill on that guy. <laughs> oh, he used his action surge. Okay, so he's a fighter. Nice. Alright. Yeah, I just want to kind of get down here as close as we can. Got time until that guy's up, so let's... Hideous Laughter, this guy. Oh, that was my actual spell. Right. I wanted to use um, Vicious Mockery. But that's okay! Alright, we're, we're doing well right now. That's how I see this. At least the bugbear is incapacitated. So, that's nice. Yeah, let's just try and get a little bit closer here. Alright, this guy's only got one health. 75% chance to get the kill. Fantastic Gale. You're great. Arms of Hadar. Okay. Yeah, let's just get you down here as much as we can. We've completed the free Lyzel. Nice. Oh, we don't want to do like... <laughs> Guiding Bolt. I, re I need to organize these into the cantrips and um, everything. 50%. 55. Let's see if we can get them. Nope. We tried. Nice. Good miss. He's laughing. Can't do anything there. Okay. Astarian. Um... Let's get you a little bit closer. 91%, 75. He's actually up pretty quick, so let's go for that. Nice. And then we can just focus on him. We all have basically turns to go. Can I shoot him from here? Vicious Mockery. Yeah, get a little bit closer. He saved. <laughs> I do like how that they have all the uh, all the things. Target outside normal range. Okay. So let's try and get a little bit closer then with Gale and his firebolt. I think we'll be okay from here. Unless we critically miss everything, come on. Oh, he's throwing potions. Perfect. Um, okay, well, we, we'll get closer. And then we'll just try to firebolt him. Nice. There's, there's a good hit. Yeah, rather you hit them and not us, please. Nice. Sneak attack. Should be a ton of damage. That was the last of them. 
Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! All right. Like a fortification for a wandering band of goblins to try and breach. Lazel oh. has a dangerous look in her eyes. Let's just hope she reserves those impulses. <laughs> Wanted to start looting, actually. Best be on my way. Is there other ways to get in here? Looks like a sigil down there, so we'll go get that. Ooh, what is this? Viridian Crystal. Ritual Staff, Scroll of Grease. Encumbered already, eh? That's... Could be worse, I guess. Okay. Here, one sec. Um, add to wares, and we're going to give all this to Astarian. There. Looks like Gale has leveled up as well. Well, that's fantastic. Leveling it up a little bit faster than everyone. It's not exactly a bad thing, have the, your wizard to be a higher level. Um, we get some level 2 spells now. Arcane Lock, that sounds like a terrible thing to do in this game. <laughs> Alright, Blindness could be good. Blur, Blur is very good. Cloud of Daggers is also very nice. Crown of Madness could be good. Darkness is nice. Dark Vision, we don't need to tech thoughts. Flaming Sphere is actually kind of nice as well. Gust of Wind. Hold Person. Invisibility. Knock. Magic Weapon. Melf's Acid Arrow. Mirror Image. So Mirror Image and Blur are both very nice. And Misty Step. There, there's actually so many good, like... Spells, <laughs> shatter, web. Okay, I want blur because blur is a very good like defensive spell. How long does it last for? Ten turns. How long does mirror image? Ten turns. This is armor class. This is disadvantage on attack rolls. I think that's better. Slightly. Um, so that's a defensive spell. Cloud of Daggers is very nice if you can get people to come into a certain area because those just stay up and are spinning for the whole ten turns. And anyone that moves through it takes damage. Scorching Ray is very nice. I might go Cloud of Daggers. We might be able to utilize that pretty good. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, yeah, sure, you can take that. Why not? This is probably true. Ooh, bunch of stuff there. The Kurg. Gloves of Power. Okay. Absolute Spain. On a hit with a weapon attack, possibly inflict a minus 1d4 penalty to the target's attack rolls and saving throws. Sleight of hand plus 1. That sounds like a extremely good thing to have on a Starion. There you go, good sir, because you do a lot of weapon attacks. I, however, do not. Butterflies. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I wanted to come and grab this. Oh, no, not that. I wanted the basalm. Oh, look at that. 
so beautiful. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Probably get over there. All right. This game does have its like very nice, beautiful sceneries at times. We got him. We got this guy. Everything's empty. Okay. Um, to go in, um, I would like to have you cast Guidance on me first, just in case there's stuff we can do or see as we're walking by. We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too. Unbelievable! Remember, there's one golem, there's ten. I'm leaving before the horde shows up. One fight just ended, and now you're picking another. Relax. Druid, those goblins didn't take any prisoners. Uh, I can cough up my payment anytime now. Or, what's unbelievable is how we beat the goblins. You're both heroes. <laughs> Do you like that? Uh, here, let's get this. We can get do this with our fantastic rolling that we're doing today. Nice. And who the hell are you again? Oh, Show this some guy. Respect. This man saved your pathetic life. Agreed. Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. You were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward. The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. Huh. I can either attack either of them. That seems like a terrible idea. You want me to take the both of you down? I will, otherwise knock it off. Or more violence won't bring those you lost. Stop and think. I like both of these, but I'm probably going to go with this one. More violence won't bring back those you lost. Stop and think. Nice. You're right. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes. The both of you. Enough. Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. All right. Well, let's go tech to tech. Talk to Zevlor. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. Well, I'm Dreamin. I should warn you. Visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. I have no quarrel with druids. Why are they forcing you out? Those goblins, have there been any attacks like this? Yeah. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's hmm. welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay. But we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. This ritual, is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Really? We're messengers now. We owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. That would be 
nice. Uh, we do have a few things that we need to do. So we need to find, oh right, this is find the Gith Yankee crush, uh, find Zoru. Um, when we find that person, we should go get Lizelle in the party. Uh, save the refugees, speak with Kaga. That's what he just told us. Then we have the companion quest. So Daughter of Darkness, which is Shadow Hearts, wants us to get to Baldur's Gate. And also wants us to find Zoru. Cool. Alright. We are going to make our way up here really quick. There is something that we want to do. Um... Might be able to do this without anyone seeing. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, we don't generally like to do that, but sometimes. These boots have seen everything. Sometimes we just need to go talk to everyone here. Like, hey, what's up? Time to talk. No. Oh, okay. I should speak up. Glad you made it inside. Doubt we'll be safe here for long, though. There'll be more coming. Goblins hunting packs. Can off a whole whole horde of goblins from this position. Maybe, but we're not fighters. If they broke through, it'd be a massacre. The sooner we leave for Baldur's Gate, the better. How far are we from the city? If the road was clear, a ten days walk maybe. But while the goblins are out there, it might as well be the other side of the world. Got it. So we're not too far away from all. Uh, what is it? Um, there appears to be a bugbear. Okay. Well, um, critical hit, that's very nice. Let's kind of run up here. Well, so much for peace. Yeah, let's kind of get in the way of this guy. I'd rather them not um, hit whoever this is yeah okay that was pretty good um let's do this maybe he'll target me instead oh he's surprised okay Let's get as far up as we can, then. Nice. And we all leveled up. Even better. Okay. Hello. You have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone... poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Hm? Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. Too bad. I earned it, fair and square. Excuse me? Coin? Mistress, you lost me. I've been to Avernus, but I'm no devil servant. That bugbear would have crushed your skull, and that's the thing I get. You got me. Hand over the coin, and I'll be on your way. Um. No, I'm coin. Mistress, you lost me. You almost seem honest. Care to explain why you reek of the hells? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Mine player abducted me and its ship went straight to Avernus. Yep. That's uh, uh, kind of exactly what happened. A situational advantage. I think we're going to pass this one. Unless we get a double one. That would, well, I definitely have done that before. <laughs> well, 
that's quite the story. And I thought I was doomed. Now I feel sorry for you. Here. Take this. It's worth a fortune. But a fortune's not worth much if you're dead. Consider it payment for saving my life. Oh, thank you. Soul coin, true to its name, holds a mortal soul inside. It serves in the Nine Hells as very valuable currency. As well, very valuable currency for somebody else that we do not have yet. Well, why am I on Shadowheart? That coin's worth plenty. Don't let a squid get their tentacles on it. Okay. Take a look in the telescope. Here through the telescope. Um That's a dragon. Uh, focus, trying to get a, or focus, squint at the distant object, or focus it. Probably focus it. Probably makes way more sense. Oh, well, we got it. Barely. Good thing we had, <laughs> this guidance only gave us a one there. Can we move it at all? Doesn't look like it. Um, see a dragon okay. Circling <laughs> like a bird of prey, hunting. Move it to the left, I guess, because that's where it went. points to the left. Okay. The telescope points straight ahead. And then I guess we'll go to the right here and we'll just see. The telescope points to the right. Okay. Town over there. Almost sounded like fire as well. Interesting. Okay, well, let's do our quick level up then. Nice. Um, choices pending. Skills. Ah, we get some new... Skills. That's always lovely as a bard. Um... Could go acrobatics. Arcana. Investigation, perception, all very nice. If we were to do that. Um, but that's if we want to go College of Lore, which I really actually do. I like the College of Lore. Cutting words, use your wit to distract a creature and sap its confidence. I don't exactly know what that means. Combat Inspiration. College of Valor lets you use your um, comp your Bardic Inspiration for attack rolls, ability checks, saving throws. It's very nice. Or College of Swords. You get a fighting style. I'm less interested in that one. College of Valor could be very good for the Inspiration pick. Because then we could use our Bardic Inspiration on attack rolls as well. Weapon damage. But I also really like College of Lore. Yeah, because, okay, so College of Lore lets us get more pluses and everything. And that's really what I want. I mean, we have Gale, so we could go History or Nature. That could be good. Definitely want Perception and Investigation. 
And then really it's about arcana history, nature, or religion. Yeah. We care more about hug trees, really. History or nature? Probably maybe history. We also gain a spell. Blindness, okay. Calm emotions, humanoids can't be charmed, frightened, or become enraged. It's okay. Kind of madness. Make them attack someone close to them. It doesn't matter, friend, foe. Enhance ability is very nice. Enthrall. Make it look at you. Heat metal. Hold person is very nice. Lesser restoration. Shatter. Silent. I mean, silence is also very nice. Um, I think we'll go enhance ability. Seems very nice for the bard to have. All right, we get to pick a few different things for you. Or are you just stuck with Trickery Domain? We might have to go see Withers. Not a fan of Trickery Domain. Not a fan of these two. I mean, you get Mirror Image, which is nice, but Pass Without Trace, I'm less happy about. Um, prepared spells. Prayer of healing? No, we're gonna get rid of this because this is a this is a cool spell if you could use it in combat, but you can't. Protect from poison, warding bond. Okay. Aid. That's very nice, especially at low levels. Um, basically just increase for until long rest, everyone gets five extra health. Cost one of our spell slots though to do, or we can get enhance ability. I think we remove that. I think we'll take enhance ability and aid. Because we might want to use Enhance Ability, and if we're not, we could always use Aid to just make everybody a little bit better. So you go into Arcane Trickster. Interesting. We can make you an Assassin, though. You're deadliest against unprepared enemies in combat. You have advantage on attack rolls against creatures that haven't taken a turn yet. That's very nice. Ambush any successful attack against the surprise creature is a crit. Um, you can immediately restore your action and bonus action at the start of combat. Okay, interesting. Or Thief, fast hands, gain an additional bonus action. Which is very nice because then you could not only hide with your cunning action, you could then also dash or something like that to get into position. Second story work, um, resistance to falling damage, <laughs> is actually kind of nice. There's some points where that will be very useful. Or Arcane Trickster, I, this is the one that I had him go in my last playthrough. Um, it's okay, never really used a lot of the spells that he, he got because we have so many other people in the party that can use spells. So Thief or Assassin? Assassin is very good for killing things in the first turn. Thief is a bit more well-rounded, and the bonus action is very nice. Let's go with Thief. Um, I wonder, too, can we look at like future levels 
No, it doesn't look like it. We can also do alchemy. We can make salts of rogue morsel and basalt right now. Okay, so nothing really crazy. We can come down this way. So I guess we will. And this is actually one thing that I remember having to do before. And uh, I didn't get there in time and that person died. Um, so that's fun. Okay. Um, let's throw guidance on someone. Where is guidance? Oh my god. Uh, survival... Probably yourself. Nice. Okay. Dig it up. Let's see what's there. Two potions of healing and gold. Nice, we have 14 of them now. Oh, hey. There's a squirrel named Timber. Rude. Kicker, calm down. I'm a friend. You barged in without an invitation. I wouldn't call that friendly. See, you're in my territory, and I want you gone. All right, you and I'm willing. Back off, or I'll make you. Plenty of room for both of us. Let me pass, or I'll spread word about this wonderful patch of land ripe for the taking. I, I do like this. This is quite funny. Wait, no. Uh, how can we can't um, use... Oh, that's fine. We don't need guidance. Oh my goodness! We need guidance! Well, we have three inspiration. I'd like to not fail that outright. Come on. <laughs> we can only have a max of four inspiration, so, you know, if we use it every now and then, if we do gain some, it's okay. okay. Trees are mine. Follow the rules and I won't have to intervene. Got it? Cool. Now we got a hyena ear. Convinced Timber to let us walk on her territory, she left us a small trinket. What's in the trees now, I wonder? <laughs> Is there something in the trees that we can get? Interesting. And then this just brings us back up to here. Which we don't need to worry about. Okay. Anything of use? Ah, some onions. Oh, garlics. Close enough, right? Old floppy hats. The hollow. All right. Rolling in them. Should we go check in on them first? Or are on first? Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Are you really locking down the grove? I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. What about the people here? The druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanus guard them as they continue their travels. Um, 
You just said the region's overrun by monsters. They won't survive by themselves. As I said, it's a drastic measure. But the survival of the Grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. Interesting. I'm looking for a healer. You know Goblin Arrow has grazed you. Nettie could put you to rights. She should be with the others in the inner chambers. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The Grove will be locked down soon. What are you selling? Bits and bobs I no longer need. Okay. So here's two things. Oh, wow. They changed the inventory since I last played. So here's a couple things that we can do with this. Um, we can give him stuff to increase the attitude towards us. And that'll make us be able to sell stuff for more. And it's very nice to do at the beginning of the game when it doesn't cost a lot to do so. So, like, we can give him, you know, he'll be pleased with this offer. You know, we can give him some of these goblin bows. They're not worth a lot. Um, yep. We just want to increase his attitude. So his attitude is now at a six. So if we can get it up into here, that would be very nice. You know, same thing like these scimitars, they're worth a bit more. The javelins, you know, stuff that we're not going to be using a lot. Morningstar we might actually give to, um, oh no, because she has the that spear instead. You know, ritual staff. Here, have a torch. A spiked shield. I want to move this up into at least the, uh, into the yellow. So, like, if we, yeah, we should look at this actually and be like, this leather armor costs 69. Okay, so let's, let's see what we can do here. 69. Honestly, I think we can do that. So now he's happier. Now it's 67. So it's, you know, slight increases here and there, right? Um, yeah, a lot of this stuff. Like, we don't need a lot of gold at the beginning, right? So all these, like, smaller things and stuff we can send to him. Because we're going to be coming back to him a lot to sell stuff. So if we can do this at the beginning of the game. Here, have like a hundred of these books. Yeah, 62 now. So... In time, this will just get better for us, right? All these bottles and things that we don't need. Ink pots. Quills. Malachites. Mugs that we've taken. Onyx. That should put us up pretty close to... We don't have to get to max, but... I would like to at least get... Into the green. Oh, we're so close. Here, have some more rags and this peridot. There you go. Yeah, see, now it's down to like 57, so. Okay, cool. So now we can just sell all our wares. And that's going to be worth even more than it was. We got, we went from 600 to 1200. Um, I do want to keep a lot of this other stuff, though, for we've got, um, there's other merchants here, right? Um, potions of healing, I kind of want to always buy. We're always going to be needing them, to be perfectly honest. Um, we have thieves tools and trap disarm kits, so I'm not worried about that. 
But we do want to take a look at all these other things that he has. Rain Dancer. This is a... What is this? Quarterstaff. Create water. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not bad. It's not great. Spell Thief, though, is a very nice little bow. Once per short rest, you regain a level 1 spell slot when you can land a critical hit with Spell Thief. It's kind of nice. Can anyone use it? Only you, and it doesn't matter. Alright. So you also have like your plus one armors and things like that. Um, Hedge Wander armor is kind of nice. Balance, gain a plus one bonus to dex, saving throws and checks. Nature plus one. It's actually really good for like a druid. There's two of them for some reason. Padded armor plus one. So, you, you know, you just take one less bludgeoning damage. So the different types of armor also will do different things. Body aid, plus one bonus to strength saving throws and checks. Cause that could be good for shed. Oh, she doesn't have proficiency with heavy armor. Okay, good to know. Ring of flinging. Well, we don't have anyone that really does any throwing. You can intercept missiles from ranged weapon attacks. Reducing their damage by 1d10 plus your dexterity modifier. That seems very nice for somebody to have. But beyond that, he doesn't have a whole lot of stuff, right? Like, you know, we'll buy that because... Um, any, like, alchemy stuff will be nice to have. Um, can we, like, sort his stuff? A boiled potato. There's no way to really sort. Hey, hey poutine! Hey, nice. That's actually very nice. Okay, that, we'll get both, okay, so we still have 1100 gold, which is nice, I don't think there's really anything else we really want, potions of feather falls are nice, it's only 18 gold, in fact I will, yeah, it, those being 18 gold is actually quite nice. It'd be a bad thing to get these arrows either. And actually use them. What's this one? Arrow of lightning? Yeah. Just a couple. Oh, that's very nice too. <laughs> But no one that's really going to be using that very often, so. Alright. Uh, scrolls of Revify. Haste scrolls. I mean, you can always buy scrolls, but I'm not too worried about them. Perfect. Um, what we should do is give some of these around as well. Move them around to different people. Sort by type. There we go. Book of the Dead Gods, Book of Final Breath. Yeah. Okay. Let's go talk to these people. They seem to be having a squabble. I can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blazing spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. <laughs> Say nothing. Get out all you can. Goblins be back. Should all stay. A single blade could make a difference. This is very... Very much what I would be telling them. Like, well... Wouldn't it be a bad idea for you guys to hang out. That's for sure. Thank you. 
right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zerg. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. Hmm. Yeah. He's charming. Should have left by now. Damnation. Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. You're doing the right thing, the Typhlings need help. And what about us? There's every chance we've doomed ourselves by helping these people. We will end up fodder for some goblin's blade, all because Leah insists on helping every wounded foe we see. Our best chance to make it to Baldur's Gate is on our own. This place is lost. Hold on, why are you so eager to reach the city? You are looking at Laroican's newest apprentice. Yes, that Laroican. Hmm. The greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. I've heard that name before. A young man, yes? Lives in Ramazes Tower in the upper city. The very same. Word in Waterdeep has it he's a bit of a cad. But you say he's an accomplished wizard? Of course he is. The greatest spellcaster along the Sword Coast. As if I'd settle for a lesser mentor. In that case, I'd very much appreciate it if you could arrange an introduction, should we reach the city. Hmm. Well, good idea. Powerful acquaintances it's never hurt. Powerful acquaintances you're after. You have to look no further than yours truly. Few can match me. In either magic or talent. In years to come, you will boast of this meeting. I can assure you. <laughs> May we meet again in Baldur's Gate, my friend. Yeah. Sure, Roland. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. All right. Should we go talk to the cows? Be gone. I am hungry. Oh. And we can't, um, like, trade it some food, eh? Another one. What are you under there, then? Ant. Or rocks. Uh, Aurochs describe me well, yes. Big and slow. The keepers of this place choose different forms. Better ones. They become birds to hunt on the wing. Bears to tear flesh with teeth. But for me, only oxen, only same old hay. And I cannot even eat it. Because the horned ones hide their shiny bits inside. Shiny bits? The Typhlings put something in your hay? Hiding things. Thinking they're clever. Not clever. <laughs> Sometimes I eat the shiny bits, and they have to go looking for them on the other end. <laughs> That's funny. Well, let's go take a look in the haystack then. Found ourselves a pouch. Ah, yes. The strange ox. You're addressing me? A humble ox. How quaint. Something strange about this ox. What is it? Hmm, we're probably not making that roll. We did make that roll. Wow. Good roll on the guidance. Nice. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. There's more to you than meets the eye, care to explain? You are incapable. Come on. <laughs> Old chap, I'm a devil for gossip. That seems like something I would do. A 
I'll tell you this much. I'm going to Baldur's Gate, with or without the rest of these poor sods. Now, that's all I have to say besides, and I really mean this. Move. Interesting. All right, let's go talk to these guys. Oh, there's Will and Asharak. The Blade of Frontiers. What a thrill for the children. <laughs> They're tough kids. Smart too. The future's in good hands. All right, let's talk to Will. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. It's good advice, child. You do well to listen. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become... You are the Blade of Frontiers, racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. Yes, we both carry parasites. Mm, doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid. Or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so. Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. Well, I'm glad we get the history. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Who is she? Cavorting with devils, I see. You should <laughs> consider better company. Devil's advocate. You think she'll bring the blood wars to Faerun? Hunting in the hells, dangerous territory. That I like the bottom one. The sticks already. All I can hope for is to limit the damage. Her name is Carla. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Well, let's join forces. I hope you cast this devil back to the hells. I'm up for the challenge. You've just. Got to make a little space. Yeah. Yes, we do. Take a Starian's place for now. If I must. But do try to keep them safe. They're a little useless without me. Mm. Ready and willing. We now have the Blade of Frontiers on us. On our sides. Hmm. The famous Blade of Frontiers in the flesh. Clever, this... Hero act you've got going? Hero, Blade. Name strangers gave me. My friends call me Will. Excellent. If we ever become friends, I'll know what to call you. <laughs> yeah. So we do have Will now. And he's a warlock. It's actually not too bad. So... Warlocks are interesting because they're like a pseudo spellcaster, but they get more so they get um, a 
a very fantastic cantrip called Eldritch Blast. Um, and they'll be able to modify that. So your Eldritch in Invocations here. So he, he'll have some spells and stuff which are good-ish. In Hex is kind of nice. Hellish Rebuke is also nice. React your next attacker with flames that deal 2 to 20 damage. Um, command, Charm Person, Burning Hands. Let's go with Hex. So here, with his cantrip, he gets to modify his, his blast. So when you cast Eldritch Blast, adds your Charisma modifier to the damage. Pretty good. Armor of Shadows, he can um, cast Mage mage Armor without expending a spell slot. Beast Speech, we don't really need that. Beguiling Influence, Proficiency in Deception, and Persuasion, also don't really need. Devil's Sight, uh, False Life on Yourself at Will, Mask of Many Faces, Disguise Self, One with Shadows, is actually not too bad. Repelling Blast is very nice. When you hit someone with Eldritch Blast, you can push them. So we're going to get that. Thief of Five Fates is also nice because once per long rest, you can cast Bane. And Bane is very good. Or do we want to do extra damage? Which is what? Plus three damage on his attack? Because basically you use Will for Eldritch Blast and that is it. <laughs> so let's do that. Then he gets to level 3. Pact Boon, gain a spell. So he gets another spell, this time a level 2 spell. Enthrall, hold person. Hold person is still very nice. I think we'll take that. It could be good. And then we get to pick what he wants to do. So Pact of the Chain. Gain the service of a familiar. Okay, Pact of the Blade. Some a Pact Weapon. Or Bind the one you're wielding to make it magical. Also very nice. Or Pact of the Tome. Allows you to cast Guidance, Vicious Mockery, and Thorn Whip. To be perfectly honest, this is probably good. Summon a weapon to your hand, it uses... Your spell casting ability modifier damage is magical. Bind weapon, bind packed weapon. You cannot drop it or throw it. You can be proficient with it if you weren't already. Versus this, which is sca invisible scare enemies, invisible sting enemies, animal, or three cantrips. I'm thinking pact of the blade would be good. I mean, swing and swing and... Oh. I think that just lasts, right? Item received, pack bound, rapier, 1d8 plus 3. Yeah. Um, speaking of which, you have fine familiar. Why don't we have a familiar out? A crab, a cat. A frog, a rat, a raven, or a spider. Never hurts to have have a familiar out. Step, Harry, strike, damn it! Landing. Interesting te technique. Having some trouble? Nothing but. Goblins in the wild, out for blood, and the druids in here looking to kick us out. Or worse. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. Try hitting the target. Um, demonstrate a swing. Show him the 
fluidity, insight. No wonder you're struggling. You're no balance. Space your feet farther apart. I think that would be the better, better thing to do here. Comment on that type of stuff versus hit it harder. I'll, I'll try and brace them better, um, like so. Step, brace, parry, swing. Yes. You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. One last thing, don't shout out your moves like that. Spoil the surprise for your foe. Keep training in time, you'll make short work of any goblins. Hopefully it's just the goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. And one last thing, don't shout your moves out like that. Spoils the prize oh, for your yes. foe. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. <laughs> Will approves that one. Alright. Receive a battle axe! Okay. There's tons of stuff that we can't actually open or get in. There's a backpack down here though that we can get in. Open crates. That was a uh, coffee. Nice. We all like coffee. All right, can't get in there. The Annals of Baldur's Gate. Okay, so this is nothing crazy for for that. Um, there's a rat we can talk to. Probably a good idea. Hey, stop for a second, rat. What's wrong? Things wrong. Just get back. Let me take a look. It's the front one. I chipped it on the evil thing. <laughs> Are you trying to eat it? What evil thing? In the box. Follow me, I'll show you. Okay. Oh. Okay. He went in there. Um can we hide? Lockpick? Interesting. Um, where did, uh, where did the rat go? Oh, over here. Just looking around. Stay your face, read her emotions. Don't worry, I'm here to help. Hush girl, another world, snap your neck. Afraid I can't, I've been placed in charge. Uh, don't worry, I'm here to help. What, what are we helping? Either way, I'm here. Nice. Damn it, was inventory today. I'm sorry. Nerves are shot after the attack. Do what you gotta do. Sorry if I don't show you around. Need a hand up? I just fall back down. Legs are as steady as a foal's. Bloody potion! <laughs> Where did you get this potion? From the old lady in the cave. The one with the lotions and potions. <laughs> to her credit, it worked. I'm as strong as a bugbear and fearless. Of course she also warned of side effects. Should have listened. Now I'm stuck guarding crates. Interesting. Crate guarding is a serious job. Doesn't sound like a side effect at all. Let me heal you. You'll be dead in seconds if the goblins come. I can heal you for a price. No, we don't need to do a price. Oh, all right. I guess being fearless won't help if an arrow comes flying right at me. Yeah. 
Hold still and I'll cast the spell. Oh, because I need... Um... Here, one sec. I think I need... To change out the spell that I have. How do I do that? Can I do that? You can. You can change out your spells. Do you have restoration? There. Can you then lesser restoration? Come up here. My foot. It moved. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. I have a lot on my mind. And well, in it. Ugh, the evil things in the chest. Oh, well. Look, between us, you're not supposed to be here. But I'll turn a blind eye. Just don't touch anything, all right? Um, but I need to get in this chest. Never buying a potion off that old bat again. Man. How do we do this? Can I, like, distract her going somewhere? And then open the chest and see? Hmm. Okay. Let's ungroup. Wait. Whoops. If not over, then through. Okay. Now let's. Okay. Oh. It's clear not everything you find is at your disposal. All right. Sorry. Still breathing, despite everything. Um, let's do that down here. I am ready. Right with magic, defender of the people. Let them all come down. Okay. Hmm. Is that blood? No. To bring. Never mind. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Okay. Well, we can't get into that right now. Darn. That didn't quite work how I was hoping it would. Okay. Oh, we found Zoru. Um, let's go to camp really quick. Oh, Withers has a uh, has something for us. All right. Where is he? Right here. Hello, Withers. Not this one. Lord, this one. And this one, the less word is still. Less worthy still, more riddles for my resident jester? I riddle thee not. I speak only what requires telling. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin ensnared by the treacherous cult of the absolute, fell in its name. Hmm. 
They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the no. worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. So, yeah. You can... He's telling you to... We can change... Um, or we can hire hirelings. I think I can trust them. Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can offer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. Okay. Um... Yeah, we don't need to worry about that. I would like to change the class of some people, but I'm not going to worry about it at this exact moment in time. Okay, I did want Lizel in our group here. The Githyanki people have a word for men like the Blade of Frontiers. Shalak, roughly translated, idealist do-gooder, or better yet, benevolent burden. His confidence is an asset. His pursuit of valor, not so much. All right. I'd like you to join me. Dismiss someone first. Um, take Shadowheart's place, I guess. Briefly. Good. Our victory is most certain. Okay. Oh, and we also have to level her up. Because we haven't done that yet. She is a straight-up fighter. Action surge. Very nice. Extra action to use this turn. That's it. <laughs> Fighters are pretty straightforward. So they went Battlemaster with her. And actually, I do really like Battlemaster. You get maneuvers. Um, manu <laughs> this is when I played... Um, I was a battle master in well, the first time I played D and D five E because I really like these. They're basically you get three of them, and you have a a battle master die. I think it's a D eight at this level, um, or just superiority die. That's it, and you can use it to do these things. So uh, once once you have used them, I think you get three at level three and you slowly get more and more um you can expend a superiority die so when he misses you with an melee attack you can react and do a d8 damage to him etc so it's pretty cool and there's a lot of different ones you there's like um you can add it to also do an extra damage and maybe frighten them you can add your superiority die to your attack roll so better bonus to attack you can expend it to um, evade attacks, so disadvantage on you for a round, disarm them, etc. So this is pretty good. Eldritch Knight is basically just being able to spend or use spells and stuff, and I'm not overly... Like I said, we have so many spellcasters, I don't think we need it. And Champion, well... Champion is the most straightforward of all the fighters. You get better at critting. <laughs> so, um, and that's actually really nice. It is, like, super nice. Um, I don't tend to use Lizel very much. So, I think I'll go with Champion on her. At least in my previous playthroughs, I never really used her that much. So we are going to have her out, so we can talk to Zoru. Another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Yes, you heard the woman bow. Liza, I'll see to this one. I suggest you do as she says. I don't really like that. Lower. 
That's enough. You dare interrupt. Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Fine, do as you must. Yeah. I do not like her that much. She's so... Ugh. <laughs> but it's companion quests. Where? On the road. Baldur's Gate. N near the mountain pass. S saw us for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. Oi. Up. You can keep your innards. By the dead gods. Are all gifts so brutal? Brutal? Blood still flows through his own veins. I was positively gentle. <laughs> yeah. So, not my style. So that's the locals prove compliant. A useful trait. Do you plan on being that rough with everyone we meet? Rough. Soon you will be vomiting blood and tearing apart your own flesh. When the tentacles sprout from your lips, will you still cry that I was rough? Yeah. Just tell me your next move. Sling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. <laughs> you mean purification? Fresh holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. <laughs> you say teethling? I am unfamiliar with the. I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this Fey run. It's Feyrun. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, with that, we've been at it for an hour and a half. I know these this next ep like this next one's going to be a lot of talking. I was hoping to kind of get through majority of it today in this one um yeah do we have a moment to do this stuff oh damn it yes okay we'll talk to damon first because he's got he's another traitor in this area Need to replace any gear? Just ask. My selection is pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Elturel. All right. That forge is holding on by a thread, are you, Smith? Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before Elturel fell into Avernus. These days, my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me. There's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. Alright, let's see your wares, because this is the guy that we really want to um, barter and make sure we get our, um, our stuff up with him. Because he is someone will be around for a while. Here, take all these books, these old quarterstaffs, an old floppy hat even, that flax. That's actually gotta be worth a decent amount. Um, silver glass, sure, even a grease, no, no, we'll keep the grease bottle. Copper ring. Let's barter with him. And that puts us up way up to there. That's fantastic. Um, 
I really don't need that scroll, but it could prove useful. It's like, do we have any dyes? Because I'll never use them. Some basic poisons. Hmm. Large mage armor, enfeeblement. I mean, those are all very nice. Did we... Did we leave all of our stuff in with, uh... Here, we should probably give those to Gale. With, um... Our other party members who are not here. The fact that his attitude's up there already. I mean, we can just... Split. Right? Um... Give like a hundred gold, maybe. Oh, almost. All right, I do want to give them as much as we can, basically. So let's do another hundred. I want to get him up to a hundred percent. So, all right, and he's up to eighty six. So let's do like. 50, 94, so let's do like 10, 96, so that means like 20, no we'll do 13, here, 98, Ninety-nine. One hundred. Perfect. <laughs> Got him to exactly where we needed to. All right. I could have sold him the soul coins, because um, he's gonna. Ha he's a guy that's going to be around for a very long time. So, um, hunting short bow. It's very nice. Hunter's Mark. Light crossbow plus one. Extremely nice. Longbow plus one. Hide armor, chain shirt. Safeguard shield is actually pretty good as well. I kind of want to get that. And the light crossbow plus one. And even the... No, we have no one that can use a longbow. But the hunting shortbow... Wouldn't be bad. Short sword plus one. Again, we don't really have anyone that uses those. Okay. So we'll keep those for now. Kind of want to get some more of these arrows as well. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And then next time, I think we're going to hold off right here where we are. And yeah, there's so much like good stuff here. Follow's guide, complete behavior of the nymphs. Um, and we'll finish talking to everyone here. Alright, so thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.